In this video we're going to be looking at how we can choose the appropriate approximation. The binomial distribution can be approximated to both the Poisson distribution and to the normal distribution. And the Poisson distribution can also be approximated to the normal distribution. And it can be shown with this diagram here. Now, the conditions for each one are, are different. So for, for Poisson distribution to be approximated to normal, it has to be that lambda is large. For binomial to be approximated to a Poisson distribution, it's when n is large and p is small. And then finally, to go from binomial to normal, that's when n is large and p is close to 0.5. Now, as you can see, binomial distribution has got two approximations. The difficult thing to judge, though, is whether p is close to 0.5 or whether p is small. So you're never sure whether to go for a, to a normal or to go to a Poisson distribution from, from a binomial distribution. Now, as a rule of thumb, if you calculate np, the mean of a binomial distribution, if it's less than or equal to 10, then it should go to a Poisson distribution because you're able to use the Poisson distribution tables. So, we say generally if uh, NP is less than or equal to 10 then you should use Poisson approximation but if NP is greater than 10 then use the normal approximation so you should really just use this as a kind of rule of thumb and remember that if you're going from a binomial to a normal you need to apply that continuity correction. The same with a Poisson to a normal, you need to apply the continuity correction but binomial to Poisson there's no need for the continuity correction as these are both discrete distributions and the normal is a continuous distribution. Okay, so let's, let's look at an example where we're putting this uh, kind of general rule of thumb into practice. So here's a question. At a shop, 10% of customers buy chewing gum use a suitable approximation to estimate the probability A, that out of the next 100 customers, 12 or more will buy chewing gum, and B, that out of the next 500 customers, less than 50 will buy chewing gum. Starting with part A, uh, let's define our random variable. So x is the number of customers buying chewing gum. And x has a binomial distribution where n is 100 and the probability is 0 0.1. Now, if we do n times p on this, we get... 10. So that means we can use uh, Poisson. So we can say that x is approximately the same as y, where y has a Poisson distribution of 10. So we're asked to find that 12 or more customers, or the probability that 12 or more, will buy chewing gum. So finding the probability that y is greater than or equal to 12 and that's the same as 1 minus the probability that y is less than or equal to 11 which reading from the tables is 1 minus 0 0.6968 which gives us a final probability of 0 0.303 now the actual probability, 
uh, done on my graphical calculator was 0 0.2966. Now that's pretty close to our approximation. Now let's have a look at part B. So if I do it on a fresh, fresh page, looking at part B, again we've got to define our random variable. So we're going to say x is the number of people that buy chewing gum. and we have to state the distribution of x so x has a binomial distribution of 500 this time and the probability is the same 0 0.1 now if we were to do n times p we get 50 in this case so that means we're going to use the normal approximation because it's greater than 10 so we can say that x it's approximately, approximately the same as another random variable y, where y has a normal distribution of 50, mean is 50, and variance is 45. That's, remember, where we do np times 1 minus p, so that will give us 45. Okay, so now we need to work out our probabilities. So we're asked that less than 50 will buy chewing gum, so the probability that x is less than 50. Now that's going to be the same as the probability that y is less than, I'm going to do my continuity correction here, we want 49 but we don't want 50 or 51 so it's going to be less than 49.5 and now we need to calculate our z score So that's Z less than 49.5 minus 50 over root 45, which gives us a probability that Z is less than minus 0.07. Now I need to work out how to use that in the table, so I'm going to draw my normal distribution curve, plot in minus 0 0.07 and we want the area below that mark so if I reflect that onto the positive side so there's 0 0.07 we want that area there so we need to do 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 0 0.07 which is 1 minus 0.5279 reading from the table which gives us a final probability of 0.4721 now calculating the real probability here um, from the binomial using binomial we would have got 0.4781 Nine, eight, which is again very close to our approximated answer.